One man who we spoke with says he lives in the apartment above where this fire started right after he said someone heard a loud crash in the apartment below. I was just shocked and I was just kind of honestly I stood right there by the entrance staring at it uh, just in shock and disbelief like this isn't real. It was a very real fire flames shooting out the second story of this building at the Bluffs Apartments in Columbia at three in the morning. Jason Stein says his roommate heard glass shattering below and then saw the flames. I put some clothes on, grab my to go bag that I have always ready and I'm going down the stairs banging on everyone's doors trying to wake everybody up best I can to get people out of here. Stein says he kept on knocking, warning neighbors to get out. Some were helped by firefighters. People were like yelling. I was like, get out, get out. There's a fire. There's a fire. Get out, get out. Stein says he and neighbors watched as emergency crews put out the fire. The roof patched up later this afternoon. Everything Stein says in his apartment above now destroyed. Nothing in there is salvageable. It's all the heavy smoke damage, water damage. So we're working on a claim right now with the renter's insurance, but since there's an active police investigation, they can't do anything right now. Investigators said later they found an incendiary device in that second floor apartment and are now investigating it as an arson. We don't know what the decision is going to be, if we can go back there and live there, or they're going to find something else for us to stay. Fire displacing 20 residents, many unsure of where else to go. Stein says he'll rely on friends and family before he decides where to move next. It just blows my mind away how this could happen. And a fire official says two people were hurt in this fire, including a firefighter. Both are expected to survive. Meanwhile, damage they say is about half a million dollars and so far no word on who's responsible for setting the fire. In Columbia tonight, I'm Amy Liu, WBAL TV 11.